It was the immediate visceral impact. It made me feel like that's what I really want to do. I want to be that loud like the drum. I want to do that. Growing up as a little kid, I felt this confidence in this little body <laughs> until I went to elementary school. I didn't really realize that I was Asian until it was pointed out to me, like, what's wrong with your nose? Why is it flat? I felt the separation immediately, and that confidence that I had growing up was completely gone. And it was very difficult for me to represent what Japanese culture was when people asked me, because I was not brought up to be Japanese, or at least consciously, to know what my culture, Japanese culture, was about. This feeling of feeling different and not accepted really kind of lasted until college. It was also during the anti-war movement, of which I truly felt like I was an anti-war activist. It was the first time also that I started to hear about my history here in America through Asian American studies. And I was quite appalled to hear about this history that was never talked about in school books. I all of a sudden was able to see that, you know, there's something going on with our politics and going on with me as a person. How can I be who I really am? One thing that I feel that had become my wake-up call to who I am was seeing Tycho for the first time. And that was like in 1970 with San Francisco Taiko Dojo. When I moved to San Jose, Japantown in 1973, I found that there was the beginnings of a Taiko group. It was with Roy Hirabayashi, Dean Miyakusu, a Reverend Hiroshi Abiko, who actually really wanted to start Taiko to inspire young kids to come back and be more invigorated in Buddhist church activities. Roy really wanted to open up this Taiko activity to other people outside the church. It really attracted young Sansei, third generation Japanese Americans to kind of explore. It was more fun. Like, let's go jam on the Taiko drums. <laughs> I remember the first practice that I went to, I just kind of came with an empty slate. I experienced that same visceral impact that I found when I saw San Francisco Taiko Dojo playing. As a woman, you know, I could not connect to um, I would say the cultural, traditional art forms of Japan, like flower arrangement, tea ceremony, classical dance. Like, wow, this drum encapsulates everything that I don't see out there in my culture. It connects athletics, martial arts, dance movement, theater. It's just pure expression, wow. That's a cultural art form that really connects with me. Having 40 years of experience of playing taiko, it uh, really has been beautiful to see how taiko is emerging throughout the world. As I've transitioned out of San Jose taiko as a director, I had to address what am I all about? What is there at my core that still needs to be out there? And what I've explored and found to be my voice is Tycho Peace. Just, just, 
I feel that Tycho Peace is becoming a movement of awareness of how we relate to each other. One of the most important things of everything that I do through Tycho is like one word, empowerment. That power in yourself and how that power is opening up your possibilities. You can really connect and create connection.